What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of this channel. If you guys are new to this channel, my name is Andrew, nice to meet you. So, in today's video, I am here to tell you guys a true story on what I've experienced that day when I went night fishing at Mazdo, California. Stick around, and I hope you guys enjoyed the content of this video. Back in 2021, which is last year, I've decided to go night fishing at Mazdo, under the bridge of Mazdo where the train tracks are um on my second day there i've experienced something so scary to the point where like it took me a year to explain the story to you guys so when i was packing up you know getting ready to head into the water of mazo california fishing under the bridge and let me tell you this location is like fire like non-stop hookups of fish but once i got there i was wondering like how come like there's not that much people out here when the fishes are like constantly eating like there's literally stripers all over the place like non-stop hookups at night using you know jerk baits using artificial baits they were constantly eating left and right boils all over the place and i was wondering i was thinking in my head how come like we're the only person here you know i'm thinking i'm having like this feeling like this weird feeling you know on my shoulder you know i started to feel something stiff you know like i'm sorry i'm starting to have like these second thoughts of like man i'm feeling something like bad you know i'm feeling like 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 we're not even supposed to be here anyways when you're catching fish nothing else matters man like you can literally go fishing at night by yourself you know, as long as the fish constantly starts eating, you know, your fear is gone because, you know, you get that adrenaline and you're having fun. Like, you know, you would literally put your life in danger due to the fact that, you know, you're just having fun. You know, you know, all of your worries or problems just disappears when the fish starts eating. I mean, I'm sure you guys experience, you know, the same experience I'm experiencing on what I'm trying to explain to you guys. Anyways, yeah, um, on that day, which is 2021, I think it was... A Friday I believe yeah it was a Friday Friday night we were fishing under the bridge of Mazdell um, we you know put on our waders we you know went in the water um, and we started casting lures we started casting jerk baits we were constantly getting hits left and right and then I felt this chill I felt like this this really cold feeling and I, and I, and I, and I was trying to like figure out this feeling it wasn't like cold cold like weather cold it was like bone chilling cold you know like your bone is so freaking cold but your skin is warm that's that that's the feeling that, that that i've experienced that day like i'm having trouble explaining the story right now like i'm stuttering and that reason is because i'm afraid to tell this story and that reason is because what i've experienced that day was the most scariest moments of my life okay so we were in the water my buddy was next to me we we're just casting you know all lures back and forth constantly hook onto fish and then you know after having that chilling feeling that chill feeling you know that bone you know icy cold bonus i'm talking about like it was just like a whiff of cold feeling until like i turned my head to the left and all i seen was a body floating lingering on to my buddy's shoulder after i saw that and it disappeared that cold chill feeling just went away it just completely went away <sighs> and i'm not talking about like you know like you're seeing things you know in the corner of your eye i'm talking about like i'm literally looking at this floating figure on that day i became speechless okay after like two to three hours in the fishing i completely gave up like i decided to take off my waders you know i was sitting on the bank i was just drinking a beer trying to get my mind off of that um i didn't want to tell anyone because i didn't want to ruin the trip um after like five hours in we decided to call it a day and you know when we were packing up our stuff heading to the car i just kept seeing a figure in the corner of my eye falling uh, following us to the car and get this man I knew this figure was a woman, a young lady, okay? From the shape of it, from the hair, from the face, 
I knew for a fact this was a teenager, okay? Probably like in her late 20s or maybe 30s, I'm not sure. I mean, it was dark that night, but I'm 100% sure that this was a female. So after, you know, we're chilling, you know, at the parking lot, you know, we made it to the parking lot and like we're packing our things in the car. We're just chilling, drinking a beer, you know, having a conversation about fishing. Um, this is, this is the most craziest thing ever because I thought I was going crazy. Okay. We're just chilling, relaxing. We just seen a dark figure walking away from us into the light and disappearing. Me and my buddy head was like this. What the heck was that? And this is not no shadow. This is not no like corner view. When we turn our head and look directly at that figure, it was just standing there. Once, you know, that that spirit was just standing there, it walked away slowly and our head was just following this figure, just walking slowly, disappearing into the mist. This was like, the most scariest moment I've ever experienced in my life. And I know this, I say this a lot. You know, I, I can't even explain the story right now. Like, you know, I'm sounding ridiculous right now, but I'm trying my best. Like, I'm literally like shaking. I'm having goosebumps, but I'm going to try my best to explain the story. So yes, and then I told my buddy, did you see that? And he was like, yes, I seen it. Okay, I, I have to tell you something, man. Like, let's get into the car right now and let's leave as soon as possible because I don't want this thing following us back home, you know? So I told him, dude, I was like, dude, when we were in the water, I seen this figure floating, lingering onto your shoulder. And then guess what? Guess what my buddy said? He said, no wonder I felt something. And then right there and then, I wasn't able to drive home. Like I, I, I couldn't even like keep my car straight. I kept swerving like because I was just lost out of words. I was so freaking scared. I kept looking at my rearview mirror uh, because I just felt like there was somebody there. After, you know, telling my buddy uh, what I've experienced and what we saw, he literally told me a story on what happened to one of his relatives. The same experience happened to him on the day that happened to me. Okay, it was so freaking shocking because he explained the story on what happened to that person. He was an elderly. I keep stuttering because I'm not even sure I want to post the story now because I feel like I'm not even supposed to talk about this. Anyways, yeah, this elderly guy was at the same spot. He's Cambodian. Um, he was fishing there. And then when he went home, he saw I guess he told his family that he saw a little girl or like a teenager, you know, at the back seat of his car. He saw it, you know, in his rear mirror. When he told me that, you know, I started having chills, man. And um, after like, you know, experiencing, you know, that day, I couldn't even, you know, cope with life anymore. Like literally every single day, like I kept waking up with cold sweats. You know, I kept, you know, you know, looking around in my room because I felt like somebody was near me. You know, that's, that's what's like the most scariest, you know, part about the story is because I'm talking about it and you know, I, I just recovered from it and now I'm talking about it. I hope this doesn't bite me in the ass later. Anyways, yeah, so after like um, explaining my story to my friends, they started telling me that people had the same experience. Did you hear that? Oh my goodness. Anyways, let's continue on. So after explaining that story to my friend, he told me that his relative had the same experience. So I went home, you know, finally feeling normal again, you know, after a few weeks in. And then I decided to do research about that spot. And let me tell you. So I have the research right here. If you guys want to, you know, read this, you know, story, I'll put that description down below. But out of respect, guys, um, I don't want to, like, you know, bring up the name of this young woman or, you know, 
get into further details, so I'll just read half of the story. So Lathrop, the young woman who died early Friday morning after she reported <laughs> after she reportedly, you know, slipped and fell at the Mazda Bridge in the Lathrop. You know, she was identified as a 21-year-old woman. You know, um, like I said, I really don't want to get into further details. So if you guys want to read this article, I'll go ahead and put that description down below. Anyways, um, first things first, I want to, you know, give out my condolence to, you know, their family and, you know, to that young girl that lost her life. You know, I'm, I deeply, you know, you know, I, 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 I can't, guys, you know what? I can't explain the story anymore. I can't get into further details or, you know, I can't, I, I just can't do this no more. Anyways, if you guys have any stories, you know, of your experiences, you know, fishing out there, any, you know, spirit sightings or ghost stories, true stories, whatever, feel free to leave a comment down below. Anyways, um, I don't want to explain the story into, you know, further detail, like I said in this video, because I'm having trouble explaining the story and I feel like this isn't even necessary to post, but you know, I just want to share my experience with you guys. Um, I hope you guys, um, you know, uh, but don't take this video the wrong way. I mean, honestly, um, I, you know, apologize if you guys feel some type of way um, from this video content. So yeah, if you guys have any stories, please leave a comment down below. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the content of this video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.